All right, uh, we're out here working on my Ranger again, and uh, what we're doing is that we're doing the brake booster, the brake booster, and um, the truck set for quite a while, um, for like uh, three years, I believe, or two, two and a half, three years, and during that time, something had fallen over on the, the brake pedal and depressed it about halfway. And so, with it being depressed halfway, um, it made the, uh, the the booster go bad. And uh, this is actually the day two video. I forgot to do the introduction yesterday, but uh, whenever I take it off, which you will see in the part one of this video, um, the brake booster it was uh, very spongy. Okay. Uh, This is our new one right here. And this area right here was extremely just spongy. I mean, just really, I'm not really sure if it was, uh, I think it was brake fluid or something, or whatever's on the inside here was just extremely spongy. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and get this thing put on here. And um, but I'm wanting to say this is refurbished. <laughs> it looks refurbished, it does not look brand new. Let's go ahead and get this thing uh, installed and uh, get this truck breaking again. Okay, for uh, this uh, year model, it's a uh, 15 millimeter or a 1932. And so uh, over here. Make sure you're pitching nuts in a good place and you don't lose them. You don't want them to fall on the ground either. It's okay if you're working inside of a garage and you got a concrete floor, but whenever you're working outside on gravel, well, we've got a carport right there, but we just moved into this place and it still has all of our stuff uh, that is waiting to go inside of a storage building once it gets delivered out here. Anyway, that takes care of that, so now let's grab a hold of the reservoir, pull it off, set it aside. This line right here, I've already disconnected it. It was a pain in the butt to get off, so just pull it off, set it up on our side. So that's basically everything that needs to be done on the outside, so we'll do the rest of it on the inside. So that's where we're going to be going next. Okay, this right here is the... Um, our brake pedal, the inside of our brake booster, which is that big black piece right there. So we've got two nuts that we've got to remove, and we got to remove that right there, which is for our brake light sensor, which I think could be bad. I'm not really sure. Um, I keep on blowing fuses, but that's not for the brake. Uh, that's actually for my flashers and lights. So, but anyway, that's what we're going to be removing. Uh, I'm going to try to set up the camera so that uh, y'all can follow along. Um, it's going to be really hard to do that, but I'm going to try my best to set it up. So, anyway, um, yeah, as soon as I start back up, we will be disconnecting this. Okay, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, got the camera set up on the tripod head inside the truck. Um, I'm gonna try not to talk too loud because this microphone on this thing really sucks. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing done. And, uh, set up my light better. Let's 
card up here has a card pin right here so just remove just remove there it is just remove the card pin and then this right here slides right on that so Okay, um, the, uh, all of the nuts are off, the, uh, brake, uh, light connector is off, and so, um, what you gotta do here, what you gotta bring them two pieces apart, bring the brake pedal away from the, the, uh, whatever that piece is called, it's coming out of the, the brake booster, uh, the brake lever, I reckon. So anyway, uh, next thing that we're going to do is go on the outside of the truck and pull it on through. Okay, with everything disconnected up underneath here, which is this hose right here is disconnected, and now uh, and everything disconnected up underneath the cab. This right here should pull out, of which it already is. It's already away from firewall. Let's move this out of the way and go ahead and get this joker out of here. And uh, yeah, there it is. So uh, this part is uh, definitely bad. It's, I mean, it's just in really bad, bad shape. I mean, look at that thing. It's just all rusted and just, yeah. Got this thing down the road, you're just asking for an accident. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and remove these warnings. Get this off. Okay. Uh, this right here goes on the, would be the passenger side of your truck. So this right here would go to the passenger side. And this hole right here is where we're going to go inside of. And so while uh, there's our four bolts, let's go ahead and slide it on in yonder. And uh, just to hold this up here, we're going to go ahead and just hit this right there okay we're not going to tighten that up yet because we need to go inside and do the bolts on the inside let's so let's go ahead and come over here okay i'm going to try to record this it's going to be really hard um it's just me out here so i don't have nobody to help me let's go ahead and start getting these on here Okay, uh, what I need to do now is that I've got to hook this bar right here onto here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that before I lose my washer. And uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to keep this camera on or not. So I'm going to bring this back here. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got it attached on the inside, so now the only thing we gotta do is since we've already got this sitting right here, let's go ahead and make sure that it's in there good. 
put some nuts on it. right here slide that out get it on there then just put on it about right up in there be good <coughs> should have plenty of brake fluid and uh, it's nice and clean uh, so whenever I first looked inside of this after a couple of years it was all gunked up at the bottom you couldn't even see the bottom so i drained out all of the fluid and then i cleaned it out really really good and then um i uh drained the uh the brake lines as good as i can get them to be drained and so uh so yeah that's basically all that needs to be done um now you may need to um bleed your brakes and if I gotta bleed my brakes, then uh, I'll do a video on that as well. But uh, all right, that's to take care of this part. So thanks for watching, and um, hope that you learned something and were able to do the same thing w with your vehicle. Okay, well y'all have a good one. Thanks, and keep on watching and subscribing. Bye bye.